We are not testing the specific gravity of these urine samples. However, we need to know that specific gravity is just how how many solutes are present or how what is the concentration of solute in the urine compared to the density of water. Water's density meaning the think of it as the stuff that's in water that wouldn't uh, comprise like salts and that kind of thing. Water specific gravity is is one, uh, 1.0 grams to the milliliter. And urine specific gravity is usually 1.015 to 1.025 grams per milliliter. So that means urine is a little denser, meaning that it has more stuff in it. And if you'll think about that, I'm comparing it to one, which is water. So now we've got things in urine, such as salts. Uh, these are just regular things that are in urine. Uric acid, the presence maybe of protein, of small proteins, of red blood cells, of um, epithelial cells, all kinds of things that could be in urine and contribute to the stuff or the contents of the urine in addition to the liquid. So specific gravity is inversely proportional to the volume of urine. What does that mean? Think of it this way. If a person is very dehydrated, they will have very dense or concentrated urine. They don't have as much water as usual. So they would have a high specific gravity or a lot of stuff in their urine and a low volume, meaning they wouldn't have a lot of liquid. So they have a, a lot of stuff and not a lot of liquid. That's what high specific gravity with low volume could indicate. It's concentrated, which might mean that the urine, uh, the presence of the stuff in the urine could be uh, due to, say, protein or sugar, that kind of thing, uh, and or the person could be dehydrated and the urine could be more concentrated than usual. It could have more stuff in it because the person doesn't have as much water as usual. So it's not always pathological unless you, unless it's a pathological state of dehydration. So the person could just be dehydrated, but not to where it affected their everyday living. So low specific gravity means is kind of dilute, I meaning there's not a lot of stuff in it, and it has a high volume or it has a lot of water, so it is dilute. So that's what it means by inversely proportional. If the specific gravity is high, then there's not a lot of water. That means if there's a lot of stuff, there's not a lot of water. If the specific gravity is low, then there is a lot of water. That means if there, there isn't very much stuff in the urine, then there's more water than there is stuff. <laughs> and I know that doesn't sound very scientific, but you're trying to remember it for an exam. And so this is how I want you to just shorthand it in your mind. Is the urine concentrated? Then it has a high specific gravity. If it is diluted, then it has a low specific gravity. If it has a low specific gravity, the person could have nephritis. And if it has a high specific gravity, the person could also have nephritis and or diabetes uh, mellitus. So tests would need to be done to determine those. What, what is important to know is just the definition of specific gravity, water specific gravity, and then urine specific gravity, and what that means for the patient as far as what does that say about the contents of their urine. Is it concentrated or is it diluted? And if it's concentrated, it's high specific gravity with low volume. And if it's diluted, it's low specific gravity with a high volume. 